is St. Michael's Railway, where today I'm going to be building the warehouse for the Metcalf kit for double O scale. So with the current scene that I'm modeling, um, so it's going to be a factory, um, I'm going to be building this as a low relief. I'm going to be going up against the back scene. Right, so I've installed the windows and the frames and they're all fixed in, all 30 of them rather painstaking actually but you know if you persist with it you do get uh, some pretty good results so with these I found that you can just either glaze the wall itself or you can actually install the frames just find that if you install the frame the frames you uh, you actually get more depth and it's a little bit more realistic looking so um, now what I'm gonna do is put the floor in right so I've installed the floor and the strengthening panels and uh, I made a start on the roof and uh, so the roof structures are in the trusses in and uh, built the gable walls up so uh, that's the back and with the front I fitted the warehouse doors so for me I like to think about the building and what I'm actually going to be doing with the building or where it's going to go so for this one I'm going to be having the doors open so if the doors do not open and you wish to have it open then it's easier to cut the panel out and make the door an opener before it's in the building and you've got to hack away at it. So for this building, so I'm going to have the bottom door open and the top door open and I'm going to uh, fix in some style of crane and um, just sort of have it as a uh, load in to get the the goods to the top floor or to any other floor if you know a crane that would be suitable for this like a sort of pulley style crane um, it could be like off the building on a frame some sort of like a frame or you know wall mounted if there's any ones that you know or you could recommend if you could leave that in the comment section a quick pointer um, when following the instructions if you follow the instructions most people just look at the end result and then favour it out themselves and uh, as long as it looks like the picture is a win-win. Um, so because there are multiple choice options, whether it's low release, relief or not, it's easy to get um, drawn into the instructions. So you follow it step by step, but you could end up building something you didn't actually want. So it is worth just a little pre-read uh, and then discovering what options you do have so for this um, the next step would be step 13 to where I am but then that is building the full size building and uh, that would be the end result but for me I'm not so I skip straight through to 15 which would be the bridge and then that's hopefully what I'm gonna end up with right so other half of the building I'm gonna pop the floors in and then the uh, floor supports and then the main floor support this when you um, install the frames normally find that the, the gaps that you're given are where the floors go I tend to glue the floor anyway. Right. Just tend to do two sides just so that I'm not trying to hold the whole thing together. So I can just worry about the two sides that I'm gluing. Right, so. I have all the floors glued in on one side so now I'll just glue the other side so now I'm gonna make up the gable wall and then just drop that in like so and line the top up Right, 
that. Right, so now the internal gable wall is complete, ready to pop the roof in. Like so. So now I'm going to be building the footbridge that connects the two buildings together. I'm going to leave it unglazed um, because that's the sort of look I want to go for. And and um, if I've got a couple of windows, I'm going to take back out. I've decided, you know, um, you know, obviously a broken window on some sort of old warehouse anyway. So um, right, let's get. Uh, and I do support him. Same again with the floor. I just do glue the one side first. Like so. <coughs> so I now have all the supports in, in the legs, just to finish it off with the floor. So, so now that the floor's dry, I'm going to attach the roof. So I'm just uh, left to um, add the roofs and because I'm doing a low relief for the building you, you don't require as many parts as roofs but it's always handy to keep these because you know they could come in a shed or you know a canopy for anything anything really. Um, so for here, for example, you have the doors, so if you trim the roof down, you could make a little canopy. Right, so I now have my two sections of building uh, ready to be united as one. So I'm going to glue the end of here glue it to the end of that and then there is a joining strip that runs through the middle right so I've applied the glue and keep it on the flat level surface and it will just help you align the two together and then when you come to fit it to your board um, you know because you've built on a flat level surface you know it's going to go straight on the board without having any nasty gaps underneath so that's if it all glued together now so whenever I do these kits um, if you're not too sure whether it's going to be lit or not um, or if I'm going to add open the doors and add detail inside uh, workers or loads stuff like that as I mentioned before, I would like to put a crane here, um, so I'll have a couple of workers and possibly a load being hauled up. And um, so I never put the back on, so it just makes life so much easier if I uh, need to get in there and put light in. Uh, so this side will definitely be lit, um, and <coughs> I'm gonna section the floors off so I can have. Like uh, divide them into rooms, you just have like the odd room lit, and um, it's got the coping stones to install. And um, we 
pop into St. Michael's quick and uh, let's see what it looks like. So here we are on St. Michael's Railway uh, with the new factory unit in position. So now I got the position and the building, I can start to uh, build up the scenic around it. And as you can see, the waste management depot is starting to take shape. That was just uh, a video of uh, me building a Metcalf kit for the new uh, waste management depot on St. Michael's Railway. I'd like to thank you for joining me and watching the video. And, uh... <laughs>